this is uh, my workshop. Uh, I usually work here by myself on Mondays and Fridays. I'm an electrical motor rewinder. Um, but yeah, I sort of fuck around with uh, building cars and stuff on the side. I have, have done for many years, ever since I was about 19 when I, well, 18 I think, when I imported my first car, the Sky Ferro. So I got it reasonably cheap and it came with the SR20 debt with heaps of modified parts and a roll cage. Um, here is some of the parts that I got. Uh, well, these are from my old build from my 400 horsepower S13, some Tomo cam gears um, that I'm reusing, repurposing. Um, some stuff from EFI hardware, this is a home kit for the SR20 VE that you need, just some bits, water pump block off, yeah bits and pieces. Um, these are my calipers for the second set because I've got the, the dual, dual calipers on the back, an old um, Tome copy. This is all the, uh, both like the NA and the turbo build, just the factory stuff there, the VVLs. But anyways, what I'm planning on making is um, some manifolds for the turbo one. A Cinco manifold. Um, it came up real cheap, but um, I bought this from Hypertune when I got the manifold. And just these uh, pipe bends, this um, stainless steel tube from um, steel and tube. So I'm going to make um, a low mount V-band manifold just for the SR20 VE um, just because I want to make one always have for a long time but yeah this I think it was about $150 you can get um, billet ones made now and they look so good like I really want one but I'll just use this because the billet one's about 450 Australian so that between those two I think it was $180 so just say 100 each and these are about $20 each um, so yeah, you can pretty much get a cheap stainless manifold and they, they do sound good. I thought I'd take you through my workshop. So yeah, we, we do rewinding. Um, just fix all of those old motors and stuff. I've got a uh, big lathe. I've got a big one. Um, drill press. A few other bits and pieces. But yeah, this is what I do. One eternity later. So welcome back to another episode of uh, Garage 82 and the SR20 VE and VET uh, builds um, for the 180SX. I uh, purchased some parts off um, Facebook, off Marketplace, and a couple brand new bits um, from a local supplier here in New Zealand. Um, so yeah, just uh, show you a bit of an unboxing of them, and uh, yeah. So. First thing I'll show you is the Turbo Smart Wastegate. This is a Hypergate 45, second hand. Got a pretty, pretty good deal with that. Um, and the Cinco Manifold. These are equivalent to the Six Boost. They're um, pretty good quality. I've had quite a few of these over the years from Mike St. Clair at Cinco Customs in Hamilton. Um, you've seen the Hypertune Manifold. Um, <clears throat> There's these rods from K1. I sort of show you, shown you them last time, but this is one outside of the packet. The old uh, bronze um, piston bearing. And there's the uh, quality of the workmanship on there. And they run the ARP 2000. I think they're three quarter, three quarter bolts. Um, one of the other things I got because it's crucial when you're building when you're building SR20s with the V heads and stuff is um, ATI dampeners. So uh, I got this from one of the suppliers in Palmerston North. Um, I'm not too sure what this one's. Oh no, it's for the power steering, I think. I'm probably going to run with the electronic power steering pump, to be honest. So this is the uh, this is the pulley here. I thought they would have come with um, with the timing marks on the outside, like on the box, but they don't. I'm not that no, I can't see any. 
Um, so I'm going to get uh, an adapter that goes on here so I can run a oil pump and it has <coughs> built into it um, a timing wheel with 60 and take or 60 takeaway two timing wheel so that I can use that with the um, reluctor sensor and then finally oh, we've got the pistons so these are the 12.5 to 1 ratio GE forge pistons so these have got the valve reliefs for my oversized um, intake valves, but standard exhaust. It's a pretty good quality. They come with all the um, brand new piston rings and all of the um, gudgeon pins and whatnot. And then the last item that I got was the uh, the Dash 2 Pro, the link uh, display with the built-in GPS and data logger and yeah these usually sell for about two thousand dollars but I got it for twelve hundred so a bit of a steal it's brand new it's never been used uh, the guy that owned it he had it in his RX-7 so yeah it comes with um, can setting oh the two different styles of um, plug-in fittings there, it's got the CAN plugs, CAN interface, uh, the military grade um, like A and B connectors, it looks like a fuse, but yeah quite a few bits to have a play with, um, <clears throat> so yeah hopefully all goes well, I can start building the engine next week um, or the week after and yeah, I'm going to balance the whole rotating assembly and get the um, cylinders machined out to 87 mil or 86.99 mil. Um, yeah, get it all balanced and blueprinted and put the oil grooves in the, the main block and use the GTIR 5 hole um, Nismo bearings or ACL bearings, whatever ones and do the stud and line bore and yeah hopefully we can get the whole head onto it and all I need is a clutch and make up a drive shaft and make up the headers so we're getting there piece by piece each week but all the main components are here and spent a lot of money this week and yeah next week is my last uh, lot of holiday pays.